What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and this one is major people believe me. Now this info comes from Bungie's latest web which I will link within the video description if you do want to check it out. But hey you sexy bastards if you do enjoy the video and want to see more do please hit that like button as it truly does help me and my channel out. Okay so on to the news and today we have news on the next DLC, its name, release date, live stream reveal and trailer. We also have information on season 3 and season 4 including random roles and new weapon slots and all sorts and it's epic. We also have a new roadmap to check out which we will do first. So let's get into it. Okay so we can see the 1.2.0 patch update which will deploy on May 8th. We will get seasonal crucible rankings, private matches, vault space increase, multi emote, exotic weapon masterworks, seasonal vendor progression, exotic weapon sandbox changes, heroic strike modifiers and nightfall challenge cards. These are basically things we already knew was coming so not much here to really talk about. I do look forward to the crucible rankings for sure though and the masterwork exotics should be cool. Season 3 summertime we get a new seasonal event. This I'm guessing might be Sparrow Racing League. What do you think it could be? I say this because the Sparrow Racing League if I remember rightly was released firstly as a solo event and then was brought back with the dawning. While we've had the dawning, we've had Crimson Days, the Halloween event won't be until much after the summer. So if we are sticking to D1's rules it should really be Sparrow Racing League which I'd welcome with open arms as long as that forklift truck does not return. It just ain't gonna happen. You fuck left! We also get faction rally improvements, bounties, damn I have missed these for sure, PC clan chat and possibly exotic armor sandbox changes. September is season 4, we get gear collections which is awesome records, weapon slot changes and weapon randomization. So basically the weapon system will get a complete overhaul slot and randomization wise. This is amazing news guys but September is so so far away. Random rolls and weapon slot changes, I, well I wanted it as soon as possible. I know it wasn't realistic but hair man can dream. These new additions to Destiny 2 will no doubt fall in line and be aligned with the major fall expansion we all expect but that hasn't been confirmed. Moving on in the TWAB and they state The community has been talking a lot about some of the things we're developing for Season 4. Our goals for these features are to give you more control how you configure your loadouts in Destiny 2 and give you more reasons to play the game over time. We also want to bring back those exciting moments when you acquire the perfect weapon. To make this happen, updates like weapon randomization, weapon slot changes, gear collections and records will be delivered to all players. We now have a plan for raid prestige changes including raid layers and we'll update where it will land in the next development roadmap. Mod changes are being incorporated into our new plan for weapon randomization. On May 8th with the beginning of Season 3 we are launching the second expansion for Destiny 2. It's called Warmind and it will send you to new places to meet new heroes and battle new enemies. You'll earn new loot and master new activities. Today we're naming it and dating it. You'll learn more in the reveal stream on April 24th. Mark your calendars and follow us on Twitch. With this statement we get this image too. Check it out. So May 8th guys we get expansion 2 Warmind absolutely epic we also get the reveal stream on april 24th you do not want to miss that now this image does anyone else get a wrath of the machine vibe from this i certainly do looks pretty cool though it really does they then go on to state season 3 marks the beginning of a new plan for how we will deliver crucible content for every player of destiny 2 we'll be releasing all of the new crucible maps being developed for warmind into matchmaking the same goes for the maps we released with Curse of Osiris. To keep the community in the Crucible unified, everyone will see new arenas in match-made playlists like Quick Play, Competitive, Trials of the Nine, Iron Banner, as well as the new weekly rotators that include Rumble and Mayhem. That means more opponents for everyone. With the arrival of private matches, players will need to purchase each expansion to have exclusive access to play those Crucible maps with other players in a private match. Well, that makes sense to be honest. This plan goes into effect on May 8th with the beginning of Season 3. So Crucible fans, great news. We also get this post-launch image too. Check it out. I always get excited when I see new legendary and exotic gear stated, things I look forward to most. 
But yeah guys, some great great news. The game's changing, it will take a few more months to take full effect, but it's progressing towards a better game, no doubt. I'm glad I stuck with it to be honest, not gonna lie, I almost give up. It's been hard for a Destiny content creator like myself, but not just me, for many. Hence why I've started posting Fortnite, which I will continue to do as I love the game, but hey, a variety doesn't hurt anybody. But guys, on that note, I am out. If any more info drops, I'll have you guys covered here on my channel. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.